Hey guys, this weekend only, the Guggen Squad is having our Fishing Black Friday. The whole website, that's right, everything will be 20% off. Flunker Logs, they're 20% off. Bandito Bugs, yes. The best plastic ever made, they're 20% off. One of our newest baits, the Dart, yep, 20% off. All of the jigs you can imagine, 20% off. And one of my personal favorites, the Contender, our Big Swim Bait, 20% off. So go check it out below. 20% off the whole website, but if you want to receive another 10% off, Use my code AP Bassin. It's a little hack, you know, just type in AP Bassin, and that will also give you another 10% off. So big sales, GuggenSquad.com. Check it out. Peace. So we're just going through some terminal stuff right here. We're getting geared up, ready to head to the magical place of where the water comes into the land, Louisiana. Oh yeah. yeah. Talk crawfish season, big bass up in them swamps, cypress trees, Spanish moss hanging down. You, you know what I'm saying, you get the vibes. So we're just gearing up, trying to go through everything. Make sure we're not gonna miss out on the excellent bite here. So, uh, I think we're just waiting on the CEO right now to get here and where are you, Matt? We're getting geared. I'm pumped. We're headed to Louisiana. This is a spot that I've never been. I heard the fishing's good, and it's just good to leave Dallas for a little bit. I've been kind of been fishing really hard, haven't really been catching, haven't been filming. This is going to be exciting, getting back after it. Um, I'm just going to bring three rods, keep it simple. We're taking Rackley's gear this weekend. There's nothing more I could ask for. Me, Rackley, Matt, fishing, let's do it. better for you guys. Yeah. I do a little dangle when I get out east. I was telling him I I know where you guys are gonna go. I think you should, I think you should go to the so other. Where are we going? We're going out east. That's all I can say. I'm I know. Going, we're, we're, we're going far east. <laughs> we're going where they are. We're going right south now. and east. Full moon. It's a full sun as well. If you guys don't catch it, if you guys don't catch giants, I'll be shocked as hell. I'll be throwing a damn giant swim bait all day. Actually, well, I just whip out a lunker log and just dangle it. <laughs> Wacky that's rig all day. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Kendrick just needs a day off. Let's go, baby. Leaving HQ right now. Uh, the journey has just begun. It always feels fresh and invigorating when you're just leaving. Nothing is broken yet. Uh, no, no bad things have happened yet. Everything is good so far. Uh, and for a Guggen trip, that's always nice, you know. So I think uh, I think we are going to have an incredible time. I would I would venture to say that this is going to be one of our uh, most used plastics fishing trips we've ever had on this channel. I'm going to say at least 20 packs. Yeah, you want to take wagers? Okay. Let's put some bets down. Stinky? You in? 
I'm in. I'm always. I'm a betting man. So who wants to set the over under? Well, I think Brackley just did. So twenty is over under. Yeah, I'm gonna say. What's your under or over? I'll take the over. Over. I like it. I was gonna take the over too on that. All right, I'll take the under so I get on the other side. Okay, you get on the other side. I'm gonna be conserving <laughs> bandito bugs. I'm gonna be yeah. <laughs> Like we're in a zombie apocalypse, no warm cooking baits are available. It could be just fresh scent, fresh scent every five minutes. <laughs> so what's the wager? Um, hundred shares of Tesla. That's that's. Sixty k. I well, it might, it might be twenty k by the weekend. Um, <laughs> Let's do, gosh, let's do dinner. Okay, good Louisiana dinner. Or do we come back to a good, back home Texas? What, are you say Louisiana ain't good? It's gonna be, I think Louisiana crawfish boil is gonna cost us like 20 bucks. Okay, all right, a good, a good haywire dinner. Okay, deal. Deal? I'm the only under? Okay. We made it to the first stop along our East Coast tour. East, East Texas <laughs> tour that we're on. We're the East tour. The that Pine Tree Tour. The Pine Tree Tour. First stop, Lake Palestine, Great Lake. Big fish, pumped, been here once before. This is actually where Matt spends a lot of his weekends. Right? Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. I know this lake. He's been here twice. Come on! You ever heard of spawn season? Like you're walking like it's June out here. We gotta go. Come on, bud. Oh, you're here. This is March, East Texas. Whoa, Jesus. Jump. Oh my gosh, 65? Is that actually? Uh, it might pull down a little bit. Stop. But um, I've been in the water about five minutes. So. Pretty incredible. I bet it's 62. That's pretty incredible. I bet it's 62. Because once you, once you start getting into the pine trees, Water instantly goes up five degrees. I don't know what it is. Something about the pine tree radiation. It, it just heats it up. Do you want a party back here? My guide here, dipping me. That's freaking teamwork. 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 So we're down here at uh, the southern end of the lake right now. The water is stained. We also have a ton of pollen. It's making it hard to see. We just had rain. Uh, it looks like yesterday they did have some rain down here. But I'm just flipping a jig right now, just black and blue jig. Uh, I think parrick has got a jig on. Um, you know, Matt, he never takes, a, never takes a Texas rig off, it seems, and especially a trench hog. That seems to be his is go to for the mondos. You see one? Pull down. Do we need to pull down? And uh, water 63. So spawning. Spawning. Could be happening. What we have is spring above 60 degrees. Whenever you get 60 degrees or more, fish start to get up shallow. Full moon is right now. Grass looks good. My bait looks good. My hair doesn't look good. Your vest looks good, dude. My vest, my vest does look good. I mean, check looks this out. Fresh starched. Yeah. Link down below. Link down below. If you want to look. If you want to look as good as me, make sure to check out the link in the description. <laughs> I mean, you might not look as good as me, but you'll look pretty good. Oh, got one. Come here, baby. Little buck. Little buck. First fish of the trip, though. There we go. Oh, quick. Bringing them in with the darts. The dart out there. 
Yeah, that was that was off a little bit. A little deeper. I tell you, get those big females, just like this one. You know what I'm saying? Patience is key. Yeah. Just just a little buck bass coming in here. Freshy. We'll give them a sniff. Healthy. All right. See ya. Go get bigger. As Matt said, let's fish one. 500. Fish on. Good one, Matt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo, baby. Woo. That's what oh. I'm told. Oh, you tried to get cute in both of them right there at the end. That's fine. That's fine. They're in here. I like how he called it fish on before he even sets the hook. <laughs> what a guy. That was a better one. That was like, that was like four. four. Yeah. Four. Go that far with it. <laughs> okay. Three? Solid three. Solid three? Uh, I would have called that like 310 probably. That's fine. But old trusty, trench hog. Dude, you have done some damage to that thing. <laughs> I freaking love the trench hog. I think that's all I throw out here, especially. They're trained on it out here. We're in another spot here. A little, little dock area. Hey, I got you your grass, Perrick. Thank you. Perrick's very particular about where he fishes. Have I like grass. grass. You want to know something, guys? Grass equals bass. I do. I agree. I agree. Grass equals bass. Find the grass, catch the bass. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at, an look animal. at that band go. You guys can't bring the hammer out to Palestine with you like this. <laughs> do all the work. Did you catch that on a trench hog? Yeah. What else? There's nothing else to throw out here. I don't know why anybody else throws anything else. I would throw a lunker log. There you go. Yeah. There's other options, but there's not better options. Kind of like the options market. Yeah. Lots of options. I'm buying calls on trench hogs right now. All right. I like it. If you're not in the money, like long term calls, or out of the money. We're going out of the money because yeah. I, I think it's a right now. I think it's an under the radar stock. All right. Just is it, as actually from a sales point, isn't trench hog like one of our worst selling baits? Yeah. Yeah. For it was for no reason. Like I think it's because never nobody's seen anything like it. I also think it's just yeah. like what else is like it. I got one. Oh! Oh, I just saw him right there. Conditions just look so good for a big one right now. We're on the southern end of the lake where it's probably just now coming into the 60s for the first time this year a little warm streak and it's full moon big girl's gotta be moving around in here oh my god cheetah bite no bitch just looks freaking yeah, I mean, so good every little cranny i think we're gonna have to slow down like come back through when the car start doing it yeah got you baby Oh, trench hog doing work still. Spotted bass. Yeah, they're notorious out here. Man, I feel one with the fish. Now. And just, well, at least we went to my home turf. I mean, yeah, was, it's your home field. It was a good way to start. <sighs> Love to see it. There's one. Can you get one. Okay. On the board. Oh, it's a slammer. Slammer. Ooh. Nice fish. Good chunk. First fish of the trip. Absolute whopper. Pretty psyched. <laughs> Absolute whopper. We're putting them back in the water. Hopefully, the next one's a little bigger. Good job, Derek. Nice. We're, uh, what are we, five fish deep in our 500? 
Yeah, we're starting on the big leg. We got a slow pace. <laughs> we, got, we got a lot of fish to catch, boys. We got some catching up to do. So yeah, and so far on our bet with uh, plastics, how many have you been through? A bag. Two? I've been through one. You've been through a bag already? I think they've been, I got maybe one left. I think I have one left in the bag. Yeah, Texas rigging. My second fish of the trip. My bigger fish also of the trip. Look at that bait. Slammed a six inch bait. I don't know what he was thinking. Nice fish though, nonetheless. Where's your mama? Where's your mama at? Day's winding down, big fish on. False alarm, just rock. We got a little sunset. Beautiful. Uh, looks like the shad are starting to do their spawn thing. There's a full moon right now, so um, these bass are probably going to be eating up all night on these shad. But we got to get get on the road here soon, guys. I got a I got a bedtime. A couple hours. You know, we got Stinky here. He's an all-nighter. Uh, no, I'm, I'm down to fish all day, but we do have to continue our journey, and we got to get something to eat tonight. Journey's just begun. This is nice to get get some fish in the boat, get a little warm up, and uh, get a head start on the trip. But it's all good. I'm fun hanging out with my buddies. Oh, got him right there. S spotted bass, probably. On the banger? Yep, spotted bass. Mmm, that fillet up real nice. You guys hungry? It's getting about dinner time. Spotted bass are uh, known as kind of pests out here in the East Texas area. Um, sort of invasive, you know, they're a northern species, shad munchers, and they are prolific. I figured we might catch one around these rocks. They usually live around rocks, but they are pretty. See ya. Time to get on the road and head farther east to our destination. Where do you think we ought to end up tonight? I'm thinking knack. Knack? I think that's probably our best. Deep knack, deep in the pine trees. So we're gonna stay Nacogdoches, it's about halfway. And uh, we don't even have a plan for the morning. We're free spirits right now, but y'all are long for the ride. Let's go. time to save ladies and gentlemen it is fishing black friday and we have got everything site wide at googansquad.com 20 percent off right now yes i'm talking about you want to explode on some toads oh yeah get you some my personal favorite 10 inch mondo worms 
20% off. Saucy swimmers, go ahead and load up for the season. Oh, and you know it's getting filthy for all time. Money bags, tackle trays, everything on the entire site, 20% off. And you want to save an extra 10%, you can use code LFG. That's right. Don't just get one pack of something. Load up right now. See you there. GoodenSquad.com. downtown Lake Charles right now. Vibes are good. We're about to get some shrimp, some crabs, get that seafood vibe going. And we're just looking at a map right now of our final destination, which is about 30 minutes or so from here. But um, this, this area has been hit by a hurricane recently. Uh, they're still building back up, so uh, seems seems like everything's coming back online. But Sometimes the fishing's really good after that. There's like a little uh, lull, and then things start coming back. And I think we're gonna hit it on a really, really good time post hurricane. So I'm excited. Well, looking forward to finally getting on the water. It's been a long drive. We made it to Lake Charles. Had a good lunch with the boys. You know, looking forward to some mud bugs this, this week. Talking about how big of a fish we think's in this lake. What do we think? You think there's a double digit, Eric? I always think there's a double digit. If I'm fishing the lake, there's a double digit. That doesn't make any sense. Um, do I think, I'm, I'm excited about the chance just to see what Louisiana bass fishing is like. I haven't really done bass fishing here. I've done more saltwater fishing, so. I'm excited to see what that's like. I watched a couple YouTube videos kind of to ruin the surprise of what the lake looks like. It looks really good. I'm pumped. You guys should be pumped. Let's go wax. So Gros Savon is, uh, is basically a hunting and fishing lodge located in southwest Louisiana, just south of Lake Charles. Gros Savon is a special place in the fact that we have saltwater fishing, freshwater fishing, and all the hunting, along with some really great eco-tours. We've got a lot of bird species that migrate to and through our area. So, it's a really unique experience in the fact that you can do all these different activities out the same door the same day. So our bass fishing has been really our, our spotlight to grow Savon and what we did is we took some old agricultural land, converted it to bass impoundments and they're not really truly lakes, they're more marsh impoundments but as you'll see as you guys are here this week it's just a, a, a bass fishing dream the way this place is set up. You probably wouldn't believe it by looking at it, but this thing in the late 80s was actually a rice field. And they actually mm. planted rice. You saw tractors driving out here and everything. So basically over the years, it, it had been abandoned for the farm production. So we decided to put it back into wetlands and that's when the company decided to make a fish pond out of it. And we basically lifted the levees, put a water control structure, and instead of pumping it off to dewater it for farming, we let the rain fill it up and made a bass impoundment out of it. So. Basically, it's 484 acres. It's what we call Miller's Lake. I designed the lake, and we, uh, we've got a bar canal all the way around the lake, four and a half miles, averages 10 feet deep. And then it'll jump up on the flats, which is about three to four feet deep. And all the old rice field levees are still in there, and, and all the trees wow. that grew up, we left okay. a lot of small tallow trees, and you don't see them now, they've fallen over, but the stumps are still there. Yep. It's a cool place. So. And no ducks live here at all. None. Right. Never a duck around here. No, no ducks. In fact, you can see our, all that was our blue, blue wing teal is yeah, already yeah, making right. their migration. We got thousands oh. of blue wing teal here right now. Goodness, yeah, there's so, a lot of ducks to go. Yeah, we need so. to have a spring teal season here, but that's 
that's for another day, huh? <laughs> so, All right, cool. We're excited. Yep, yep. Glad to have you guys here. So, gonna be Thank a little, you. little different than Lake Fork. So, you don't even need to turn bit. your depth finder on. Just go fish. So. <laughs> you want to see how deep it is? Just stick your rod down. I like that. Target cast. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, would you look? Oh, oh! It's been that, bunch, uh, munched. That was right where the gators were. Look at this guy. I bet you he did it. That was crazy. There's gators What's in here. Feeling? First feeling? fish of the trip. That is fresh. Like, really blood coming out of that. Yeah. Not, yeah. not massive. We just start fishing here. Let's start fishing. I caught that fish by throwing at alligators, <laughs> and then all of a sudden there was a fish on. <laughs> That's how I caught that fish. No joke. Absolutely I'm, zero skill. Zero oh. skill. We're just gonna have a good time. We've just made it to our destination, our Louisiana full send. Me, Rackley, Matt. Cheers. Cheers. Let's catch some fish. Got one. Just a tank, absolute freaking tank out here. Oh, buddy. First one for me. Fat, healthy, good way to start. Start small, grow up. It's time for the hog. First. First step in getting a hog on is you got to crush and lobby real quick. Mm -hmm. And then you call Parrot. Parrot, And then you come up here. And you dig through Rackley's freaking giant selection of in his boat. Peg. Tungsten weight. Tungsten. Oh, wow, that is good. Fish. Ooh, wow. Ooh, baby! Good morning! Oh wait, it's afternoon. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. Heck yes. That's a grown one. That is a grown one. Throwing a half ounce thick jig. I got another bite about the same size. Missed him right at the boat. And then decided to actually hook up this one. Bandito bug on the back. 20 pound test, muscle rod, beautiful fish. I'd say that go over four pounds all day long. Should we get a little scale? Yeah. No? Okay, no, Matt no. says no. We're doing number of fish tonight. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna win. Three fish right now. How many you got? Two? One. One, Rackley, one? One. Big girl, going back. Camera hook. Trench hog. Oh. Not a big one. But just like that, children at home. Nice boil. Yep. Oh yeah, baby. We were both like, look at that boil! <laughs> There's the fish. Let him eat it. Cut. That's a healthy one. Oh yeah, you're not coming on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. Crawfish in the mouth. That is pretty cool. See the pinchers and the antennas hanging out. Nice. Yeah, that's probably mid high threes right there. You can see it, like how lumpy his belly is. Looks like he's been eating crawfish. The one definitely is. So. Tasty, tasty. Oh, 
All right, that's three uh, three fish for me, I think. Got two little little schmeeders and one good one. Looks like they're postponed though. All these uh, all these fish have been fairly beat up. Um, they've looks like they're skinny, so hopefully, we, oh, dude, just out there on the flat again, eating the eating the pinchers. Well, that one didn't actually. Um, I'm hoping we get a little topwater sensation. It usually happens after the spawn. But I, I don't know what to think about all this super shallow grass. Like it doesn't look good to fish, but maybe they are up in here. I see some reed stick ups. Why don't we try that? You gotta really look at these small things when you're fishing a, a big bowl that's only like five feet of water. The little things that make them gravitate special kind of grass or any kind of wind current. This looks very, very swim jiggy right here. Oh, there's one. Got it. Decent. Got some health. That is uh, fish number five for me. Just a good old healthy one there. But you can see it's still skinny, a little, little beat up. But I ate that swim jig good. I just gotta let them have it. Got a little antsy at first, just jerking on them. But the key with the swim jig is just keep reeling until you fill the fish. A lot of times they'll, they'll come back and swipe at it if they hit your pinchers and knock them off. But if you jerk jerk it away from them, then they can't find it again. So just keep reeling until you feel the weight. Oh my god. Oh gosh! Oh, that's a big one off frog. Oh my god. <laughs> Froggy, froggy! Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, filthy frog. We came in this little cut and we all saw a, a fish about this size, maybe bigger, just explode on something in the, the little lily pad. So I had rigged this up previously, just knowing we were coming to a grassy place. And I knew it would have a moment. And I think that was one, hopefully more to come. There we go. Nice, I don't know, high threes, looking at four. Ooh. Come here. Just a juicy grass fish. Come here, darling. Ooh, that's a healthy one there. Mm. That one came actually in some pencil grass that we haven't fished yet. There's a mix of these little spindly grasses. That fish was just nestled in the middle. That's the healthiest fish we've caught, I think. Nice belly on it. Looks beautiful. <sighs> Come, Jake. See ya. All right, all right. I think that is... 11 or 12 fish and uh, they told us at the, the lodge they said if you guys don't catch 30 fish we're gonna have to have a talk so uh, we gotta get to grinding double Doubles. first double double it up I, I got a chain pick roll you got <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a bigger one following it. Oh, oh he's got it. He's got it. You got it. You got no it. No way. We're hooked up. Double. Oh up. my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Perry. <laughs> 
That was awesome, dude. Dude, that was a big one. I thought it was, the other one was bigger, but. Wow. Man. That was cool. This is what it's like to be on the outside of an inside joke, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, where were you? I'm over, rigging up. I'm over here rigging. I told you there was one on that point. There was All one. right. Well, second double. Pretty good. Jigs seems to be a winning combination right now. Jigs and Kraken Cross. You got a uh, rattle chuck on there, don't you? Nice. Nice. Pretty pumped. Touch fishes? Pretty pumped. See you. Got him? Yeah, good one. Oh, nice. Not a good one. Better one. This little guy, number six for me. Oh my god. Big bite? Oh! oh my god. Oh, nice! <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one, dude. Just see him. Just see him over here. Give him left. Oh, yeah. Where's it going? Yeah, baby! Let's go. Uh, I thought it was a 10-pounder. I say that every other video now, but he actually did crush a frog in maybe six inches of water. So it's pretty cool on top of the cooler. Big bass. Louisiana, sick. This could be a good one. No, it's not. But it's number 30! Did you see that rod load up when I set the hook? I think everybody got a little excited. Number 30. Gross Savon, we did it. We caught 30 this evening, so you don't have to give us a scolding tonight. So we're back at the lodge and it looks like they've got a lot of food in there. There's a, a chef and he's prepping some, hopefully some etouffee or some good crawfish or something like that. I'm ready to eat. You know, I think I took the cake on numbers, so. You did. I get the first bite. Absolute excellency. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I had a fun time today. I did too. What do you think? It's good times. Uh -oh. I want to amplify this a lot because we only went through two bags of plastics today. We still have to go through 18. But heck of a time today, boys. I would say cheers. Steaks and brews. And we will see you tomorrow.